Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with the review of the High Sky HFW 400, aka the Buzz Micro Flyer. Uh, this is a little three channel ultralight plane. Uh, this is pretty much an indoor flyer or a very low wind day flyer. Uh, definitely not going to do a lot of wind fighting with this just because you know it's so light and um, just not much power or bulk to it to cut through the wind. Uh, but on a low wind day, this thing flies really nice. You know, just a good casual flyer. Uh, you know, you can fly it about a third throttle. So just really nice, slow, you know, casual, easy flying. Uh, this is the transmitter, which is a pretty nice transmitter. You're kind of hobby grade style. Uh, you've got some channel reversing if, you know, whatever you wanted to do that for. Uh, you do have dual rates, so that's nice. Um, but as I said, it's three channels, so you've got throttle, but nothing over here. And you've got elevator and rudder on the right stick for your control. There is no aileron control on this, nothing on the wings. It just controls entirely with the rudder and elevator. Uh, but, you know, it's still plenty capable. You just can't do, like, you know, rolls. Uh, but you can do loops with this thing, and it'll loop... Uh, super easy. You don't have to like even dive into it. You can just punch it and go straight into the loop. However, on my second flight, which I was lucky enough to actually be filming for the flight review, um, I did about three or four loops in a row. I just kind of got a little crazy with it, and I apparently burnt out my motor. Um, it was just you know I got, I came out of loop, and all of a sudden the prop just stopped spinning in the middle of the flight. And I, I, you know, messed with a little bit, and it'll kind of spin up if I give it a little bit of a kickstart. Um, but I mean, even just moving it with my finger, I can just feel that it's, it's all melted in there or something. It's just kind of locked up and stiff. Um, it does plug into the board, so it should be a pretty easy replacement. Even though it's kind of zip tied on there, it should, you know, I should be able to replace it pretty easily. However, you know me, and I don't do soldering. And they don't sell replacement motors yet, at least. Uh, so I can't just buy a new motor and plug it in real easy. I'd have to do some, you know, soldering and solder on the plug and whatnot. Um, so I haven't messed with that. Um, but I, you know, I got I got the flight on video. I did plenty of flying before I did the loop, so uh, there's plenty of you know good uh, sample flight footage anyway. So I'll just have to wait until they finally release motors on that. Um, but anyway, we'll get into the details here. This is the battery up in the front here, and it is, it's a little battery. What is it? 180 milliamp hour battery. Get that to focus in there. Um, it comes with a little USB charging station here. Uh, so I think it plugs into the side there, yeah. And it takes about only 25 minutes to charge. And you'll get about 10 or 15 minute flights, you know, it's obviously going to vary depending on how fast you fly it. Um, but, you know, good long flights with this just because it takes so little throttle to actually get this thing to fly. Uh, it does come with a spare prop and an itty bitty tiny little screwdriver there. And then out of the box, which actually I don't have the retail box for this, mine just came in a plain brown box, I think, because I ordered it. Uh, right away. I don't think they had the uh, actual production boxes yet, but um, in the box the wing is removed so you've got to clamp it on with these things, which was pretty easy to do, not too bad. Um, but all, all the surfaces were, were just plain white. I had to put all these stickers on myself, uh, so that is my own design there. Uh, I personally am not a huge fan of applying stickers, but I know some people like to do that, and then you can customize it and have your own looks. So, I mean, there's a bunch of numbers and logos on some bullet holes and different, you know, little animal characters and stuff that you can put on there. So, you know, if, if you're into that, customizing and putting your own stickers on there, that could be part of the fun for you. Uh, me, personally, I just I don't really care that much. I'd rather just come out of the box ready to go, but... Um, no big deal. I, I think I did a pretty decent job getting everything on there straight, just eyeballing it. I didn't do any sort of rulers or anything, so I think it looks pretty good. Um, but yeah, I think really that's about all there is to say about it. So I mean, I, did, I didn't get to fly it a whole bunch of times, so I didn't get a great, you know, experience with it. But the, the two flights that I had 
were enjoyable. It was a nice flyer, so I think you know I think I would recommend this. And uh, hopefully I got enough in my flight footage to uh, please everybody and show everybody what it looks like and even got a few loops in there before it died. So uh, let's go check that out. All right, I got the high sky micro flyer out and do a little flight review. Pretty calm wind right now, so should be doable. Really nice calm flyer, and you can fly this thing at like a third throttle or so. Barely makes a sound. When you fly into the wind, it wants to grab some elevations. So that's like the one thing you kind of have to look out for when flying in windy conditions. Pretty darn calm right now. Full throttle. Get up above this car passing by. Definitely a nice, relaxing flyer. Nice, calm, peaceful flight. there no problem at all oh yeah this thing can pull off a loop like it's nothing no problem at all on the loop uh, except for my battery just went out what happened jammed up or something. Not sure what's going on here. Something weird going on with my motor. Alright, well hang on, I'm going to cut the video and see what's going on with the motor and we'll be back in just a second. Alright, well that was a bummer. I think I burn out the motor. It's, I mean, it's just jammed up and I can kind of get it started if I move it with my hands, but I mean, it is not, it's not moving freely. It just feels really bound up. And I even broke the motor in. I've had, a, you know, two flights with it so far, but I think doing those loops and giving it full throttle, uh, I think I just burn out the motor. So uh, that's that for this thing. I guess I need to uh, see if they have replacement motors or whatever, but I think I got a decent little flight review in there before it burned out, so I guess uh, we'll call it quits there because I've got no other option. So that was that. That's the High Sky Micro Flyer. Uh, possibly some uh, motor issues, so be warned about that. Alright, well thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you next time.